How do you create the most accurate payment integrity auditor in the world? You take 15 years of knowledge in the automated coding space and turn it inside out, almost literally. The AMI auditor since 2017 has evolved so much that it can function in a variety of different settings at extraordinarily high degrees of accuracy, precision, and recall for a variety of use cases. The uses are wide ranging. They include health insurance payer applications such as recovery audit contracting or RAC with the purpose of reviewing regional claims under the contracted Medicare CMS program. They are life insurance applications and claims, workers' compensation claims, or hospital inpatient length of stay audits. These are just a few examples. What makes the AMI auditor so unique? We lay this out in a five-step process that the auditor goes through. Step one is the ability to ingest medical documentation in all different formats. This is something that ChatGPT is not designed to handle. The AMI auditor has the ability to capture through its proprietary API, we call it the universal translator, all types of protocols, including fire, HL7, but also capturing PDFs, picture files, and all types of images, faxes, and scans. Step two is AMI's smart OCR, where needed for picture files, PDFs, and other images. AMI's proprietary OCR does all the error corrections in order to normalize the documentation. In that unique process, the smart OCR searches for and clarifies characters. Is the one a one or is it an L? Is an O an O or is it a zero? Are dots on the page periods or are they background noise? The AMI smart OCR solves this problem that typical OCR solutions don't address and then concatenates the documents, which is a fancy way of saying that the AMI auditor organizes the documents chronologically, since date and time are very important in the medical diagnosing process, but also recognizing that guidelines are so date sensitive for the correct evaluation of care, including payment reimbursement. Once the document is concatenated, the AMI auditor goes through a process of identifying medical terminology, where it's located in the medical record, how it's ordered, and whether there is language that might affect the validity of the medical terminology. ChatGPT has no such conduit for a universal receipt of different record types. Step three is where AMI's algorithms really go to work. We start with what we call rule one. Why rule one? Because for the AMI auditor to operate with high degrees of accuracy, the technology must lay the foundation for accurate audit processing. So the auditor goes through 20 plus checks against the entire medical corpus. These include validating dates, times, record completeness, diagnosis and procedure comparisons, definitions, signs and symptoms, admit and discharge dates, mismatched diagnoses, invalid drivers of the clinical diagnosis, and then flagging straightforward administrative medical coding guideline errors for Medicare and other insurers. There are several other proprietary filters that the AMI auditor uses. This is all against the claim supplied. ChatGPT has no filter to evaluate any of the functionality presented here in step three. Step four is the sexy part of the solution, where the AMI auditor really shines, with its 250 plus clinical mappings, which are the training and criteria for how physicians would diagnose a disease. The mappings of these diseases are rapidly configurable based on new treatments, new thresholds, and new protocols. They are also configurable administratively based on customer slash payer standards and guidelines. While the mapping of the clinical diagnosis is an imperative part of the process as illustrated, we first apply detailed checks with the headings to be drilled into, such as chest x-ray documentation, check clinical features, check for IV antibiotics, and check for additional treatment. Below is an example of a clinical mapping. In this example, we're looking at a clinical mapping of community-acquired pneumonia. The visual diagram outlines the steps that the auditor takes in making an accurate assessment of whether or not to flag a claim for review and potential findings. For example, is there a demonstrable infiltrate by chest radiograph or other imaging technique? If not, that would be sufficient to flag for audit review. If there is, it would move along to the next criteria of a constellation of suggestive clinical features with at least one of the following, cough, fever, sputum production, or pleuritic chest pain. If not present, that would be sufficient to flag for audit review. These steps are meant to automate the process an auditor would go through manually in flagging a claim for potential findings, but it is also meant to follow the steps a physician would take 
in accurately diagnosing a disease state such as community-acquired pneumonia. We're also attaching a list of some of our other clinical mappings. Step 5 is where the AMI auditor provides reasons for clinical administrative findings which are the declarative reasons why the AMI auditor fired on a particular finding. Was the principal diagnosis COPD, or did the patient have asthma or reactive airway syndrome? The importance of which is directly tied to all aspects central to patient care, administrative and clinical quality, and payer reimbursement, just to name a few. Consider how long it would take a nurse coder or auditor to read through the records manually. Imagine how long it would take you to read through 300 pages. Currently, this process is offshored in India and the Philippines and suffers from low quality standards. Even so, time and quality are mitigated with the AMI auditor. The AMI auditor can average 1 minute and 30 seconds to process a 300 page length of stay, a huge time savings. Independent auditing of the AMI solution tested a random sample size of records with an average of 97% accuracy well above the maximum accuracy threshold for human subject matter experts of 94%. Again, this application is well beyond ChatGPT or any other machine learning platform. And again, boundaries are in place as the AMI auditor is not allowed to machine learn and run wild with spurious information that would mostly be error prone. We hope you enjoyed this learning session about the guts of the AMI auditor and how complex use cases are not cookie cutter for machine learning applications. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get updates on new and exciting content as we release more videos in this series on ChatGPT.